Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Welcome. This is Taz. Today we're going to talk about a brand new style released by Renee of Paris High Fashion. And the one that I selected was Jude in the color Rose Gold R. We're going to do an unboxing of this style. We're going to talk about it, give you all of the details, and end up with some styling you won't want to miss coming up. So let's dig right in. We're going to unbox this style. Now I did go in and take off the tags just because that's a time saver for me when what we really want to know is what she looks like right out of the box. So there's what it looks like in the box. All of the typical packaging. And again, this is the Renee of Paris High Fashion. They have lots of different lines. Um, this is a completely machine made cap, so it's on the more affordable side. Now I purchased this wig with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. Drop below the video, expand the description box. I'll attach a link there labeled Renee of Paris Jude. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can explore all of the colors and the pricing. And if you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So let's take a look at the inside of the cap before we move on. This is a traditional cap by Renee of Paris, completely machine made, no lace, no monofilament. Therefore, it's likely to be more affordable than a comparable style with a lot of monofilament. So there is your closed wefts on the top and they have a little piece of velvet right there at the front with a hidden weft built in. This creates the most natural looking hairline possible for this type of cap. Also gives a little bit of comfort there as well. We have a closed ear tab with long sturdy stays. Lots of fiber spliced in. I always look for that because it always means I'll get some really nice coverage. And in the back, you'll find just a standard nape with the pull strap type adjusters. Lots of wefting, um, a decent amount of stretch, but we're going to assess the fit when I try it on. Okay, it's pretty. I like the smooth look of this, smooth, soft look of this. All right, so before I make any adjustments or style it in any way, let's go ahead and apply. So this is really what you should see on yourself right out of the box with this style. Now, please keep in mind that we're all different. These are mass produced wigs. You can see variants from style to style plus. We all look different in these wigs, right? So you can't expect to look like me in my wigs and I could not expect to look like you. So let's try it on here. Okay. All right. So let's chat, chat about the fit. This fits me nice and snug. I am a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. I did not make any adjustments and I don't think I'm going to have to make any adjustments. Just by the way it feels, I get a nice grippy feel. There's no extra baggy cap. I'm going to call this more of a petite average style cap. Uh, because it fits me so nicely without making any adjustments. I think it probably could accommodate an average size very nicely, but I would stay away if you are average, large, or larger. All right, so what do you think of this style so far? I mean, this is right out of the box, right? You saw me put it on. Um, I'm not going to have to take this off to make any adjustments, so I'm not going to shake it out. I'm just going to kind of fluff that permatease layer with my fingers. So what I am sensing immediately is this permatease. My goodness, I don't think they could put any more permatease on this wig. It is loaded with permatease. Every square inch of this cap has that thick pillowy permatease. Now why do they do that? A couple of different reasons. First of all, providing coverage for the cap. This is a machine made cap. You can always expect permatease on those. And I think the other reason is that this is supposed to be a soft, rounded looking short bob. So they're going for this soft blowout look. So if you had a round brush and you just rounded it all around the middle here and did a quick blowout, you're gonna get a soft, smooth, voluminous, rounded look. 
that is sustained by the permatease. But if you are permatease averse, just be aware of this. So the front here is about a three and a half inch bang area. We love bangs now, right? I think that they're, they've really caught on to what our preferences are. Many of us would wear bangs if they're done right. And I really like this bang. I think it works very well with the style. Now in the back, about a seven inch crown. From the crown down about seven inches, that's gonna overlap a four inch nape. It's gonna give you a nice round fullness in the profile. And I haven't seen this yet all the way around. You're gonna look at it before I do. Okay, but I'm sensing that, that that round brush look is present all throughout this style. Okay, um, on the top, there's a ton of permatees, but it's actually really smooth and flat. And it kind of divides out and around. Uh, this color is helping to obscure any visible permatees there, but I have a feeling that I can do my normal maneuvers, which is a... Um, I spring the part. That's what I call it. So when I say I'm springing the part, I just kind of dig into that parting space, into the permatease layer, and gently lift up. This separates the fiber from the permatease layer and really helps to obscure permatease, the nesty look. You don't want to look down in and see that nest or bottom layer of permatease. So you have to wake up the fiber. You have to spring the part. All right, so I'm getting like true, I don't know, Dorothy Hamill vibes. If any of you are, I know a lot of you are old enough to know Dorothy Hamill. Everybody sported that haircut back in the early 70s, right? Now this weighs about three and a half ounces. It's not overweight. It doesn't feel heavy on the head. But just be aware, because of that permatease layer, you're going to get a voluminous look right away. Uh, plus, if you live in a warm climate, this might trap the heat. Permatease traps heat. To me, permatease traps heat worse than um, worse than a hand tied cap or lots of monofilament. So, but I do love how the bangs are blended in. They just scoot right over the eyebrow. Again, a machine made cap. You can. Definitely change up the part and the look. Okay, I think it's growing on me. Uh, have you ever explored Shannon by Renee of Paris? It's a short little shag style cut, very similar to this. It might be a little bit longer in terms of its layering, but it is similar. And I feel like this one has more permatease in it compared to the Shannon that I have explored. Now, again, permatease is one of those things. You can see some variants, but I have a feeling because they're going for that blow, that round blowout look that you're going to see this on every single piece. Let's cover this color very briefly here. This rose gold R. It's a nice uh, medium to dark blonde, and it appears to be more of just a neutral, natural type beigey blonde color. But then within that, you're going to see a couple of different highlights. Overall, I feel like this is a really neutral color and it features a medium brown root, but the root is done really well. You can see where it just transitions beautifully. Honestly, if I can forget there's a root there, it's done well. And I just, it, it adds some soft dimension to it, some depth, but it doesn't overwhelm in contrast with the main color. All right, so now I'm going to do a look outside for you in outdoor light, and then we're going to head into styling. Don't miss the styling segment because this is where I get a chance to manipulate it in front of you. I'm going to make it according, I'm going to make it my own, according to my own taste and preferences, but at the same time, you'll get to know the style, the movement, the density, and so forth. Now, this is a pretty thick density. It is meant to be. There's a lot. all of the permatease and volume, I really love these wispy ends. They're going to frame the face beautifully. They add some texture and some interest to the style. So there's a lot of permatease in the area. So depending on how 
you wear your glasses, you may need to accommodate glasses by creating just a little bit of a groove above the ear by lifting the back of that cap just ever so slightly to create some room there or slip it under the ear tab. But stay tuned through the styling segment. I can't wait to get my hands in this hair. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you again soon on Taz's Wig Closet.